Let's look at the atomic structure for oxygen, that's O, on the periodic table. We're going to use what's called a Bohr diagram, also called a Bohr model, to help us understand this. So first off, when we look at oxygen on the periodic table, the atomic number, that's 8. And the atomic number, that equals the number of protons. So oxygen, the atomic number is 8. That means we have 8 protons, and they'll be in the nucleus of the oxygen atom here. The number of protons equals the number of electrons for neutral elements. And all of the elements listed on the periodic table, they're listed as neutral. So we have eight protons. We also have eight electrons. And we're going to distribute those in the energy levels here. We have one, two energy levels for oxygen. Let's use the periodic table to do that. So remember, we have eight total electrons for oxygen. We're going to put them in the different energy levels. On the periodic table, the first period, this is the first energy level. It can hold one two of those electrons. And we're going to put those right here. So we have our first energy level here with two electrons, but that's full now. After that, we go to the second energy level. That can hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons. But remember, we use two here and we only have eight total. So we can only put six in that second energy level. So we put them two, four, five, six. Six electrons in the second energy level. And this is the atomic structure for oxygen. This is the Bohr diagram or Bohr model for the oxygen atom. Note that these electrons in the outer shell, they're called valence electrons. And they're important because these are the electrons that are involved in forming chemical bonds. If you need help writing the electron configuration for oxygen or finding the number of neutrons, there's a link at the end of this video. This is Dr. B with the Bohr diagram or model here for oxygen. Thanks for watching.